and you have a show shed kishir. Shed it as in the music. I guess a reggae gahi kelly in the man. Bouncy castles, portaloos, tentish and churlish. I call a great kind of me. I can hold in your shell and the hot is on in other. And girl hacker is scooters. Tell me what noise a scooter makes. So, Mama, I think Peterhead Scooter Club a hard chin fast it can't be on a sorry chair. Come on, a who can I get play on a gish tacker to the show a visit all the year and you for wheelchair more it fall off. Get the hilly coach get a wood car and shan us and do a scooter and can you let me show again the hook is a version each year. Lambretta, I guess Vespa, that bike a clue to can you feel snacklo Audrey Hepburn if I can show Cumberly Gregory Peck on the Roman holiday. I guess I'm mods, I guess scooters, if I saw them, I'll try to make it more bright and rock, I guess quadrophenia. As the chess kid in a Sunday show, who are now getting good ur guy fame. But far can you go to Barak Sursa, I guess you're looking for a key. I guess the Voran, Van Scooter, a Rukka Hogan Hirsch of a shin. So, Stuart, you're a member of the Scooter Club here. I know this isn't your scooter, but can you tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, this is our Lambretta um, Series 1 in 1959. It's sort of modified a wee bit, but in general, it's a full restoration. That looks like a kind of classic scooter to me, but yeah. this is yours behind you here. Yeah. How is this a scooter? Um, well, that's the debate. It's fully automatic, right. which most scooters are, and it's still got the same seat and position when you sit straight up. OK, so that's the idea of the yeah. scooter. Plus you have storage in here, which bikes don't have, and again, it's, uh, that's something that a scooter should have. And why is it scooters and not motorbikes for you? That goes back to the 80s. When I was 16, it was a choice of getting a Vespa or a motorbike. Um, most of my friends went for Vespa, and the type of music they were listening to, all that kind of mod music. So it was a natural progression that we would go for the the Vespa. And you stuck to it? Stuck to it ever since, <laughs> until I went okay. to the dark side, as some people would call it. <laughs> Steph and Lynn, thank you for joining us. Steph, you've come a long way to come here today. Where have yeah. you come from? Oh, uh, Corby, no thanks. And did you ride your scooter up there? No, I come on the back of this one. Oh, right, uh, okay. Which belongs to my friend Neil. So when you go out on the ride today, are you going to be a pillion we'll passenger? Be a pillion passenger. Lynn, this is your bike and Neil's bike, it's a Vespa. Yeah. Why Vespa and not Lambretta for you? Um, my husband prefers Vespas, they're more reliable, they don't break down so often. <laughs> and I haven't seen many women here today. Are you just here because your husband likes them or do you have an interest in them as well? No, you, you find quite a lot of families come to these dudes now, they make them more family orientated and there is a lot of women do go to scooter scenes, but during the day they probably, because the guys do the ride outs and stuff, they don't probably not be around until the evening. So they... you won't be going out today then? On no, the... unfortunately Steph's taking my place on the <laughs> back today. <laughs> Way back in the 60s, I was into my clothes right. and uh, the mod scene was part of the trade to have a tool, so the tool was the scooters. So what would you have been wearing on a typical night out then? So I would uh, ride down to the beach ballroom because that was the end scene. I would have on my parker, so I would take a parker off and underneath I'd have my uh, Italian three-button suit, uh, specially made, uh, probably for an Aberdeen. If I couldn't get to Aberdeen, I used to go to Carnaby Street in London and I used to hitchhike <laughs> and it used to take my days to get there and you could buy anything you wanted to, but it was very, very expensive. So I could only do it every three months. <laughs> <laughs> I run my Vespa every day back and forth at my work right. and it never misses a beat and it's so economical that it's really cheap to run. So and why do you still have a Lambretta as well then? Because I like them. <laughs> I guess ticket to Gerson that he didn't ask if he had any land so rich as well. Had first fall of all, I guess he had a trough of skill and had a little bit. Then I called the group with Jane. I think it's good to see the young ones come into the scene and I welcome them with open arms because it's good to see them. I love kiddos. It's all about just keeping this Vespa and the Lambretta alive, really, just keeping them on the road. I guess Gleich asked Kiddock, I guess I should turn them back in and I'll be real with a weird bad for a scooter. Well, I think you should go get a fine spinner for an issue. Sure, he's. Thank you very much. Whose bike is it then? Where is it? Mr. Christie's. Okay. Look in my hand. Well, with that, so scooter is on the here. They are so fair for Jerry and Dickerton. Pull the Steve's as you can mark. It's on Jeff Miller. My knock's not pretty sure. Let's go, Steve.
Ma Bria Sairi agus Crinich of Discuter and Fali Honey agus Fuming Engine. How Mercabelli on a film from Sheskaven. Major, Kimmy Yumi Wrighton.